Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to show you an automation tip that helps you to quickly add a four-point envelope, or envelope, or however you'd like to say it. Before we get too far into it, be sure to click that subscribe button below so you can be notified every time a new video is released. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is a song called 84 Inc. by a band called The Gunpowder Plot. They recently released a music video for this song. Click the link above to check it out. Let's take a quick listen to the intro. Okay, so as you can hear, that intro is relatively tame and then it builds up a bit into what they've labeled as the chorus. I think that I'd like for the drums to hit just a little bit harder after that intro, but how can I do that and still preserve the current mix? The best way to do that is to add a four point envelope to slightly increase the volume over the duration of that chorus. I'll start by making a time selection, which I can do by either left clicking and dragging across this chorus. Let's undo that and I'll show you another way. You can see that I've got regions as well as other markers for the different sections. I can double click this chorus region and my time selection has been made for me based on the duration of that chorus. I'll find my drums, and I'd like for those to be just a little bit louder for that part. As we said, I can do that by adding a volume envelope. There's a couple of different ways to add the volume envelope. I can click the trim button in the track control panel. If you don't see that, your track control panel may not be wide enough because it likes to automatically hide based on the width of the control panel. So with that extended, if I click the trim button, I can see all the envelopes that I can add. If I click volume envelope, you can see that that's now been added. I'll remove that for now and show you another way. The default key press for adding a volume envelope is the letter V. So pressing V on my keyboard has brought up that same volume envelope. Now with my chorus time selection, I can hold Control Shift and then left click and drag the envelope for this section. You can see that it's quickly created a four point envelope. I'll zoom in so you can see that a bit better. And now I can control the volume just for that segment. Let's take that up just a dB or so and take a listen to the difference. And as you can hear, the drums got a little bit louder once we hit that part. You'll notice that the drums fader is not moving. That's because I've currently got my automation mode set to trim read. This means that the fader will read the volume envelope, but the fader in and of itself will act as a trim based on the parameters that are currently set by the envelope. If I change my automation mode to read only, you can see that my fader has now turned green. And let's move back a bit and watch the drums fader. It was a slight movement, but you could see that the drums fader did move to follow the automation that I wrote. You can do this for any type of envelope whatsoever, whether it be volume, panning, effects, parameters. All you have to do is make a time selection, choose the envelope in question, and then hold Control Shift and move the segment over that time selection. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee or the Patreon link below. I like coffee.